T.I. is back on the crew in show. The Let's building. get it. Come on, yeah. Yes. Power 106. What's up, Hefe? How you doing, man? You doing all right? What's going on, man? Cooling. T.I., we appreciate <laughs> your time and energy, my guy. You know what I mean? Man, thank you, man. I appreciate y'all for, uh, you know, postponing this until today so we can get this done because yesterday was a little hectic on the freeway. Crazy, right? The freeway. Yeah. What freeway were you on? Do you know? I don't know. 101, 405, 405. What did I say? What I say? I, I, I said the 405. That's the, one of the worst freeways guy, here in L.A. just said the yeah. 5 is bipolar, and it is. <laughs> yes. It really is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I think uh, I was coming from, what, the Valley? Uh huh. Uh-huh. So it's probably the 101 to the 405, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. The 405 is a little tricky. You yes, know it saying? is. 405 okay, has, you're here now. Yeah, the 405 has a tattoo on its face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's disrespectful. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mouthful, mouthful of gold teeth. Oh, my. <laughs> the 405 doesn't know who Tupac is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I got you. That's how disrespectful it is. I, I, you I feel me? You, I got hey, you. Tip, you know, when I think of the line, I'm not a businessman, I'm a business man, I think of T.I. Right on. I and that's a compliment, that. my guy. It is. You know? It is. Yeah, I mean, with, thank you. With movies and TV, and and of sure. course music and everything else you got your hands in, your mm-hmm. family and all of that. I mean, I know it seems like a lot. Like you know, if you're standing on, you know, if you're if you're watching from the outside mm-hmm. or you know from the outside in, it looks like a lot to handle. But you seem to handle it very well. Yeah, I mean, I think that it is um, doing a lot has become what I do. You know sure. what I'm saying? I mean, I think that we have. Um, kind of established ourselves in certain areas of business and entertainment and Mm -hmm. those the success of those uh ventures have have opened doors and made Mm -hmm. way for other opportunities and yeah we just balance it all accordingly and you're a father and you're a husband and you know you gotta you gotta maintain all of that too that's gotta be tough i have one child and i'm and and one job and i'm barely (laughs) making it happen yeah well i mean i I, we had a conversation offline man i told you man as odd as it may seem you did yeah privately privately (laughs) as as odd as it may seem the more children you have the easier it gets (laughs) wait wait what now are you talking with multiple women or the same woman well, that depends on how good you are. My God. Yeah. <laughs> no, I would think that would be harder. You got so many kids, so different th- different personalities. Sure, yes. You know? And then yeah, become, they, they, all... they become teenagers, and they're just unbearable. We were all teenagers. Yeah, I, yeah sure. definitely. I, I mean, I think that, like, the the kids, they, they, they watch after each other. They kind of, yes. you know, they learn from each other. Uh, they tell on each other, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> right, so, right, right, right. you know what I'm saying. So you kind of get a good. Like sometimes when my when, when when one of my kids won't talk to me, I go to his brother, his sister, who who been spending the most time with him. Like, man, sure. what's, what's going on with you? What's going on with your folk, man? What's happening? You know. And oh, then, and then they'll yeah. go ahead and kick it to you. They're like, man, broke up with his girlfriend. Like, oh. oh, okay, I get it now. I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Whereas if it was just that kid and it and he wasn't talking, sure. You wouldn't know what to, you would have no idea. Because then who, right. who does the kid talk to? You know, you know what I'm saying? I get it now. That's right. That's right. Yeah, and we're I working mean, on one more. You know what I mean? I think we're gonna close up. But that's how you really two. got it. I mean, that's how you get in the game. You know right, what I'm saying? When you right. get two of them, you know, then you kind of you in the game. Yeah, you see what you see what it's like. Then you get you know you get to actually have to uh, uh, manage disputes. Right, you know, whose toy is whose, and oh, who God. gets to play with the computer? And yes, and it's not your birthday; it's who, his. Right, who you like more, and this, that, and the, like that's real parenting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who you yeah. like more? Speaking, oh. of, <laughs> Speaking of, if parenting. you're dealing with that with one child, now you got, you know, that's a, you got, you got a different you, set of problems. I heard that. Hands, you know what I'm saying? And we'll get into the dime trap. But one more thing, okay? Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, has Tiny ever undermined you when, or undermined you when you were when you've been trying to? Uh, discipline the kids when you're trying to discipline the kids has Tiny I ever mean, undermined you we have a difference of opinion and I think that she's That's very fair. vocal about it uh, in, in in front of the, the children but it depends on the topic of discussion you know what I'm saying yeah. like most of the time that happens when I'm dealing with my girls you know what I'm saying mm. and, and, and say like dealing with my girls and how they whether or not they can or can't communicate with with guys or yeah which guys they should be communicating with she'll definitely like she'll hide a whole boyfriend from me you know what i'm saying <laughs> dang you know understandable so, i love so, tiny okay i'm so she, obsessed she'll with had, her she'll hide a whole boyfriend from me see see mm-hmm. that see that that's a problem i just found Those- out on the shade room Really? No, but, you didn't. Yeah, I just found so, out. So what do you do? Do you call her up? Do you call Tiny up and say, yo, why do I have to find out on the shade room? Nah, man, I mean. You pick and choose your battles, I guess, right? Yeah, I mean, for one, I just tell them that, you know, 
If, if anything go left, y'all just keep it this way now, okay? <laughs> if I'm out of it, keep me out of keep it. Keep me out of you it. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. If I'm not in it, don't bring me in it. Oh, Family yeah. ties, bro. Family yeah. ties. You but, feel me? You know what I'm saying? I think, I guess, you know, me and the, me and, me and the guys, we, we, we kind of have a, somewhat of the same operation. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's different with the boys, you know what I mean? Yeah, mm-hmm. man. So I guess it's the War of the Roses. That's what it is. I'm so scared to have a daughter. I'm that's, so see, scared so to have a daughter. But I would love a daughter. Of course you would. They, they, like, like sons are much more challenging in the beginning and, and, and much more... Uh, <laughs> they're much more uh, stable yeah, as, yeah. You get, as they get older. Sure, sure. And, and girls are the opposite. They're much easier... They're much easier We're not in the beginning. We're not that hard. Oh, in the beginning, you hear what he said? They become much more <laughs> unstable <laughs> as, <laughs> as they get older. <laughs> No, I read it. I'm I said, only speaking oh, from my experience. I feel that. I feel we that. I'm only that. You know what I read too? I read boys will check on you when when they get older. Girls will 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 take care of you. Oh yeah. yes, absolutely. See the see the little boys. They go grow up and they gonna have you know girlfriends or wives or whatnot. Sure. And if the wife tired of the creepy old man, then he got to go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, Whereas right, your daughter. Right, right. Your daughter, man, she going to, like Mike L said, she going to sit my hospital bed up in the living room. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, that's true. Facts, you man. You know what I'm saying? Let me flirt with a, gir- with a, with a girlfriend's mm. coming in and that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, that's a Mike Epps joke. October 5th, we looking at the dime trap. Oh, man. It's uh, about time. And Dave Chappelle is featured on the entire album. Yeah. Right? Talk to me about that and the direction of the album. Well, I mean, to be honest with you, I hadn't even decided yet to, well... I guess you just did. <laughs> you just said the date. Um, yeah, Dave Chappelle, is, he's moderating the project, man, and uh, we just really had a good time. We got sure. together. We we always have these uh, these magical evenings, you know what I'm saying? Every time we get together, it's always like, yo, you did, did that just happen last night? You sure, know what I'm sure. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, like one of them was a time, I believe, that was a, uh, was it, it was either the All-Star is the All Star Game in New Orleans, or what? What was it in New Orleans? It was something going on. He happened to have a show there. I went to the show. After the show, we went and like through this impromptu backyard barbecue DJ jam session. Right. Wow. I got on the mic. You know what I'm saying? He was doing this thing. I mean, it was just, it was, it was incredible. Yeah. So you know, the next time we met up, I think it may have been a Radio City in New York when he had his residency. I, right. I went out for like three days. Sold out every show. Yeah. Another 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 masterful evening. That's right. Um, let me see. And then there was, let's see here. What was the oh Philly the Roots Picnic? So I think the Roots Picnic that I think after that evening we was having our normal after party festivities going on. Yeah. And I played the album for him. And um, at least I played about five songs, and you know what I'm saying he, he he hit me the next day like yo what I heard was 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 awesome I was like well sh- how about how about you know we get you in here and this you know what I'm saying I want you to speak on it for me and he said man I love to so we just got him to Atlanta and really just recorded us having conversations in the studio and that's and that and that's what made the album. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's insane. That's dope. That's there's, insane. I'm gonna be honest. Like at comedians, there's nobody like Dave Chappelle. No, no, yeah. no. It's just that, just the, the best, way that the best, he, the he best, tells best. him in his, in his yeah. tone. Great storytellers. That's yeah. why when it comes to Ti and Dave, like two great storytellers of our time together. Right. Oh, he's the homie. And then uh, during the time when we was, you know, putting it together, you know, like right in the middle of it, uh, he'll just look up and say, "Man, I gotta hit the stage." I said, what? <laughs> he said, man, I got to hit the stage, man. I got to I gotta find I gotta find a club. So he called, like, I guess to some kind of, you know what I'm saying, national comedy circuit kind of hotline. Right? <laughs> I didn't even know yo. they had those, right? <laughs> He's like, yo, it's 1230. I'm in Atlanta. Where do I go? <coughs> and they said, wow. wait, wait a minute, Dave. We're coordinating all of the information. In, uh, Boss. Go to this. <laughs> go to this place. Right. It closes in 15 minutes. And no, no bullshit. And then so, and so we went, and he just got on the stage and rocked for like an hour and a half. 
But imagine those people just going to see a comedy yeah. and then all of a sudden walks in Dave Chappelle. That's the best. Which, man. yeah, people are like, that's what the best the when it's like fuck? open yeah. mic night yes. or just, or just, yeah. uh, just you know, a night in comedy and someone like Dave Chappelle walks in or Chris Rock or, you know what I mean? Then when yes. they walk in, it's just like, whoa. But yo, it, it, but it wasn't over. It wasn't over. So after that, then we went to Magic City. You know what I'm saying? Oh. I, I, then I did my hey, thing. Hey, you know what I'm hey, saying? Hey, hey, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> You know, then when we back to the studio, we finished, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And, like, you know, we, we've had these evenings. It's kind of tradition now. <laughs> I like that. I like that. And you're an actor as well, man. And congratulations on that. Right on. Um, I think when it's all said and done, you could possibly play Dave Chappelle in a movie. Hey, I guess. Yeah, you could. <laughs> you you know mean, because both of you almost have a similar um, delivery. You think? I think so. I think so. And I know you, and I think you've picked up on his mannerisms already. You know what I mean? I think you've already, you're already studying him just by hanging yeah, out. Well, you know. Well, and it happens when you hang out with somebody. You, like, you just pick it, it up. You're going to pick it up no matter what, you yeah. know? I guess. I mean, we. I think we have a lot of, we have a lot of um, similar traits. Similar perspectives. Right. We have a lot of similar perspectives on, on, on life and, you know, love, finances, you know, on, on, on fame. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. have a, a a lot of our a lot of our idea ideas aligned. Mm -hmm. Happy belated birthday! Yes. Thank you, sir. My guy. Thank you. I saw uh, Major Girl took care of you as she always does. By the way, when she goes on tour, is it just you and the kids? What do you mean? When she goes on tour, is it just you know you're being left alone with the kids? Man, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I, I, my mom and her mom, they they chime in a yeah, lot. They help, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and my sister Precious. Um, but I mean, and then the kids. No, it's me. Like I have a, a seven, two seventeen-year-olds, an eighteen-year-old, yep. uh, a fourteen-year-old. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, it's like, yeah, it's me and the kids, but yeah, they they, they doing more taking care right. of me than I'm taking care of them most uh -huh. times. Who's cooking? Who's you know cooking? What I'm saying? Uh, I cook. I okay. Cook. Yeah. I, I love that. I know I'm yeah. excited for the So So Deaf uh, 25 tour because I want to see Escape I'm so I tell you bad. What, you have no idea. Of, it's like, so oh much, my God. It's so much drama going on around this thing now. You what do you know mean? What I'm saying? I mean, mean with the, the, the Bow Wow and JD beef oh, and all that. I yeah. saw that. I, I saw Bow Wow like uh, so apologize much, for so much drama. I didn't even know what he'd done. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what are you apologizing for? I just landed and cut my phone on. Bow Wow, sorry for something. What did Bow Wow do? You know what I'm saying? I didn't need. I, I, I think he was throwing subs on Instagram. Like couple he was, yeah, he, he sure, threw a couple yeah. subs. Yeah. I didn't know. I saw a bunch of people apologizing. I saw. I saw Daz apologizing for something. I didn't even Daz know what happened. Has apologized. I mean, I think this. Oh, is the that era was a little. I don't even want to touch on that. That's too heavy. Yeah, this is the era of happened. apology, though, bro. Like everyone is so sensitive, and, and 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 you just feel like you have to apologize for being yourself, almost. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I think now. I mean, you know, it's big. You know that that. People will even bring themselves yeah. to the point where they're willing to admit fault. You know, I think that's you know that's mature, that's big. Yeah. Um, because before you know, cats like man, I said what I said, I'm down to die about it. And then, right. You know, right. People end up dead, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's good that we've grown to a place where people can actually accept fault. The dime trap is on its way. Yes, it is. Let's get it. See, now it's your phone. Man, you print, Prince just started playing on. on my phone. <laughs> We got that. Yes, Prince. I don't know. I didn't do this. <laughs> I hey, guess I should have known. I think, I think we should let him go. <laughs> I'm not going to interrupt Prince. All right, listen. I'm, I'm no one. Hey, he's not going to interrupt T.I. <laughs> you know, I think this is pretty good, man. Come on, man. FaceTime Jeezy for CC, please. Or Tiny. <laughs> or Tiny, please. I'm obsessed with what Tiny. What do you mean? Oh. T.I. is here. CC, what just happened? Oh, my God. So I just told T.I. that I was so obsessed with Tiny. I'm so obsessed with her. I love her so much. She's the best. And he FaceTimed her, and I got to talk to her right now in bed. And she looks so freaking sexy hey, right now. Hey, come on, Really? Man. Yes! <laughs> Come on, man. She Would you rather me say that or her say yes, that? Yes, sexy as hell, and I love her right now, and you, thank you she for truly that. Love, she, she truly does have a love for your, I, for your I wife. Do, and I, I see. No, I see. Oh, my God. <laughs> she respects your that wife. That made my crap. day, and thank you for anybody who filmed it, I mean, because I, that's like a moment for me in my radio It history. was a moment for me, too. That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, yeah, you know. Thank you, thank you. Got me, got me flustered. <laughs> you know? <laughs>
<laughs> the dime trap. October 5th, is that official? I know I, 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 I threw uh, that date out. but I, I cannot confirm nor deny. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Are you just I, giving I them a date, should, right? I think we should just stay, I think we should just stay on, on, on our pivot, you know, prepare mm-hmm, for mm-hmm, anything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They can pre-order now. Yeah, absolutely. Can be pre-ordered right now. Uh, and I think, man, I, I, I don't want to, I don't want to just throw things out there, but I, I, I set out to make the album of my career. Sure. And I think that I think that my perspective and, and growth and evolution has brought me to a place where I, I think I was able to achieve it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I think that, you know, this is just my opinions, of, you know, just my opinions of myself. Yeah. The most important yeah. ones to me anyway. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's right. You know, uh, I really do feel that people will be pleasantly surprised. You We're know? waiting and on it's it, been, It's been worth, I think it'll be worth it. Worth the wait, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, if it got, what, three million views in two weeks, people, yeah, they Let's want it. it. Yes. Yeah, Let's get you. it. I appreciate it, man. You know, it's more to come. The Ray videos, shh, the Ray video is going to be... Yeah. Epic. Yeah, I'm no in it. I'm intended. in it. World premiere. I'm in oh, it. Oh, you are? What? <laughs> Anybody? He's telling you your release days, who's I mean, going to be in it. Get it, get it, Cruz. Hey, I'm in right? it. And yes. T.I. is here to let everybody know that right that's on. happening. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tip, I want to show you something real quick. Oh, yeah, show it to okay. me. Okay, hold on. I'm going to show you something really yeah, quick. Uh, I'm going to show the camera first, okay? I'll show the camera first. I've seen it. You've seen it. Yeah. Kanye West is wearing a MAGA hat with a Colin Kaepernick sweatshirt. What are your thoughts, my G? Oh, wow. I mean, it's Kanye. I don't know, I know, man. I know. What, like, I... It's Kanye, you know. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, man. I have to ask Kanye what that means before I can gather my... I think, man, I think... I don't know. I think in, in his own head, he kind of feels like he's bringing people together. You know what I'm saying? Sure. I think in his own head, in his own way, that's kind of like where his where his intentions yeah. lie. I don't know. I don't know how you know how how successful it's becoming, but I think that's I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Let me put my phone back on the charger because I'm like three percent gang. Hold on. <laughs> Go on, Kanye killing my 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 battery life. Man, listen. So about the dime trap. About the dime. So about the dime. <laughs> what is it that um, what is it that you think uh, would be the most anticipated vibe from from Ti? Yeah. The most anticipated vibe. Well, things have changed, right? Sure, things have changed. Things change every day. I'm sure, day. especially in your life with so much going on. Right. You know, um, some people may say we need the old tip, mm. right? That doesn't. I mean, mm. I think they need to buy the old albums if they yeah, want. Absolutely. If they want that, because artists deserve to evolve. You have to, which I think you have. In order to create, you must evolve. Sure. To sure. continue creating, you can't get stuck in a place. You can't. Nah. You can't um, cater to your fans to the point where you're not. You're not taking care of yourself. That's evolving. right. Am I right? This is yeah, This is real. This so is, is real. that where the dime trap is? Absolutely. It's like a. It's the evolution of trap music. Saw that turn it right back on him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you guys are playing tennis right now. I love no, it, right? I don't want to play tennis with him. He's the best. No, I know. <laughs> what? <laughs> now, I think that, you know, it's, it's kind of like a TED talk. A TED talk? A TED talk for wow. trap music. You know what I mean? So That's I a think, headline? Yeah, so I think you, 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 we approach it from, from so many different angles yeah. about so many different things. And I think that was my sheer intention to not get stuck in, in, in one format yeah. or one perspective or one subject of discussion to kind of, you know what I'm saying, broaden it out a little bit. And, you know, and, and you said that you set out to make the album of, of, of your life, right? Yeah. Um, and with that comes a lot of uh, pressure, I'm sure. Um, Only pressure I put on is self-inflicted. Yeah, you know what I mean, and I, you know, I like I res- a lot of us. I respond better to it. Yeah, I mean, you know, we do put pressure on ourselves. Sure, but I think that that's the way. You know, that that's what calls, that's what allows me to perform at my best. If it's too easy, man, I'm just gonna walk through it. You how, know, how long you have you been making this album? How long were, were you man, in the studio? I've been in the studio, but it, it's been about four years. But damn, but and you know, in our fairness, I did stop. You know what I'm saying? I stopped and kind of got on my us or else shit. You know what I mean? So I, so everything that I was recording for that six months to a year was kind of all for us or else. Then I did the Hustle Gang project mm-hmm. and the Hustle Gang tour and kind of mm-hmm. focused on my artists and trying to, you know what I'm saying, trying to platform some new talent. And I started back working on the album right around the discussion of 
who invented trap music. Like, that's kind of when I started back working on it. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. You know, I'll never forget a night here at Power 106 when I was on the liftoff. T.I. walked in with Tiny and Travis Scott. <laughs> oh, shit. Up at Echelon. Right That on. night. Yeah. I'll never forget that night. I appreciate yeah. that. That was tremendous for me. I just started at Power 106, kind of, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. A dream gig, you know what I mean? And that happened. I'm, I'm just like, whoa, this is really happening. Right on. You feel me? Yeah, man. We real proud of Travis, man. You know what I'm saying? I think he's, uh, he's definitely exceeded our expectations sure yeah yeah man doing very well yeah he is he is my man what's up legend are we gonna hear any uh auto-tune ti on a new project uh, like maybe ti with auto-tune hook like you singing on some i mean nah not really i mean this it may be a just a little hint of some some um some some voice pitching and um some at, the, at the end yes yeah, some melody not necessarily auto-tune and um the weekend for the third verse of the weekend. That's a record that's coming out soon with uh, myself and Young Thug, oh, produced by Swiss Beats. That's right. That's oh, right. Man. Yeah. Wow. Um, but I mean, I think just I think it's a ride. The entire album is a ride. Yeah. We gonna see you on that Super Bowl stage halftime? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't think they. I don't think they. Uh, I. <clears throat> I think they should have had uh, rappers Choose from Atlanta during Super Bowl halftime. I think they should have had the artists from Atlanta. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Open it up. There's so much talent in there. They just could have kept that going and have it like That's a little. The thing. But does it I need to be think... an Atlanta-based show just because it's in Atlanta? And I, I think it needs to be. Respe- I think it needs to be respected. That's I, just. Me. I don't think that they're really interested. They're like, yo, this thing we have is bigger than that thing of yours. Right, I don't think right. they understand how 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 much culture moves. Yeah what they do you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like i think if if enough of us kind of just said we was off of it i don't think that it would sure. the numbers would not continue to be with the as they are i like what hove said he said tell the nfl we're in stadiums too oh that's true yeah that's true that makes all the sense in the world but i mean they got to they got to acknowledge man it's just this old stuffy mm-hmm. conservative mm-hmm. kind of hypocritical pale face past that continues to try to dictate the flow of things mm-hmm. today and to be honest with you that you out of touch you know what i mean you out of touch you know what i'm saying okay. you know and they the, refuse to believe that the shit the, the, the shit you move ain't nobody else moving to <laughs> you know what i mean right, 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 you know right. what i'm saying like that shit ain't cool it ain't hip it ain't fun it ain't fly yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and, and eventually we're going to find a way around it. Sure. T.I., talk to me about the importance of Power 106 in Los Angeles to your career. I mean, they've been incredibly supportive. I mean, all of you guys have always, man, you know, been the first to uh, extend uh, extend the olive branch as far as uh, uh, whenever we have artists that we're breaking or sure. whenever we have new records we're working, you know, whenever we have events out here. On the West, I mean, you guys have always, man, been incredible, been incredible supporters. I appreciate, I appreciate that. it. Nah, man. Are, um, have you subscribed to our YouTube channel yet? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Great. I haven't subscribed to any of you. Or if you could yeah. tell your tell your fans, tweet you know, it out. To, That'd be amazing. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you know, if we hit a certain number, we get a really dope Christmas party, and we're trying to have a really so, good Christmas tip, party. Uh, tip, I'm gonna need you no, on this. No, that's real talk. Guy. Yeah, <laughs> we're not lying. Tip, okay. tip, yeah. I'm gonna need you on this. I'm listening. <laughs> I'm listening. I'm going to need you on this. That's all I got to say. Let's speak offline. <laughs> <laughs> Sidebar. I need you on this. Oh, Shout out to my guy, E-Man. You've known E-Man for many years. What's up, bro? E-Man has a quick story. Love. E-Man, talk to him. What's going on? I, I, I do, man. That's a story I want You've to share. You've seen T.I. rise from the no, very definitely. beginning, right? No, definitely. Um, I just want to share this story now. A few months back, this is in Las Vegas. And yeah. this is a great story, by the way. So I DJ for Trey songs for all his Las Vegas shows. So we had a show with you. Okay. We both co-headlined the show at Dre's. Right, right. So, you know, T.I. and Trey, we going back and forth performing. As soon as T.I. was done, my man stepped on off stage. Yep. And every single person that walked by that wanted to shake his hand, he took the time to shake their hands. He took the time to <laughs> take a picture important. and even Very say important. hi. Mm. And I, I bring that story up because there are so many artists who do not take the time to acknowledge their fans or acknowledge the people who just want to shake uh, shake their hands. What artists are those, E-Man? I'm only kidding. I'm, only kidding. <laughs> I'm, look, I'm not going to call anyone out. No, no, no. no. I, We're not I, here I, for I that. I share it because I think T.I. is a great example of, of someone who who really enjoys his fans. Sure, sure. And, and, and gives back to his people. Well, I think, yeah, I think we're talking to an artist who understands... Um, 
you know, that the fans are why sure. yep. why they do it. Yeah. It wouldn't be 15 years of this shit we call trap music without the fans. Talk I don't think me. I could Very be doing true. what I love for a living for 10 albums, you know what I'm saying, if it wasn't for the, the interest or... or the ability to relate to the fans. Yep. So, I mean, they're the, they're, they're the reason we do, or the reason we're able to do yep. what we do. Because when I saw you doing that, I was like, yo, that is dope. This is a true gentleman here. Yeah, sure, man, sure, sure. It. E-Man was like, I got to start doing that. <laughs> <laughs> E-Man will walk by your <laughs> ass so quick. <laughs> it's not that old. I've been turning my back on my fans for all this time, <laughs> not knowing. Because this... I am not at the level. <laughs> no, no, I see no, the no, light. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I, I thine the eyes have <laughs> seen the light. <laughs> hey, but you know what I thought about? Listen, we were just talking. He shook everybody's hand. Sure. You know our producer, after he shakes your, your hand, he uh, sanitizes his hand. Did you sanitize your hand after you shook T? Guy's hand. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything you're unapologetic about? What's that mean? Is there anything that you don't give a fuck who sees or cares? I mean, I, I try to live every. I try to live my life like by that about everything. Oh man, that's freedom, man. You know I love that. I mean, because that's you no. Know, regardless, you can't live your life trapped in other people's opinions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What they gonna feel about you? They gonna feel that way whether you hide what you're doing or whether you do what they think you should be doing or sure, not. Sure, sure. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, everybody's flawed. We're all, you know, day by day trying to get better and, you know, and trying to cut out bad habits. So I'm not going to... Very true. I'm not going to live my life trying to be perfect for somebody who don't give a damn about what I'm doing no way. Man. Man, that's the truth. Straight we'll up. Talk. Can I talk to you about Monster Hunter? Um, they yeah. Got yeah. Movie. What's the movie about? Well, it's actually an adaptation of a video game, man. Um, um, okay. It's sort of like, uh, dare I say, Resident Evil-ish. Yep. Oh, dope. Yeah, you know what I mean? My, my, my son Major told me about it. That's why I did it. He said, oh, yeah, you got to do that. Dang. And so what's oh, your character awesome, you play? I'm, I'm, I play a, a monster hunter. I, I mean, oddly enough. <laughs> <laughs> do you do your own stunts? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it depends on how extensive the stunts are. <laughs> You know I mean, saying? if we drive and I got it. Yeah, you know exactly, I mean? right? Somebody kicking me in the chest. Like, listen, I'm going to need a yell you know, cut. <laughs> a double, right? Exactly. <laughs> Speaking of your kids, is there any artists that your kids tell you, oh, yo, dad, you should do a song with this artist, like the newer rappers? Like, mm, um, you should do a song with Lil Pump. You should do a song with Lil Xander. I mean, I mean uh, my 14-year-old King, man, he was, real, he was really into uh, X. Extension, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and 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 you know since since he passed, you know he became close with like his his, his family, his mom, and all of them. Wow. And um, I think that, hmm, let me see, that's the only person that I can recall him ever speaking to me about his ex. Aside from him, my older sons, they like J Cole, sure. Kendrick. Mm -hmm. Um, so and my like, older son, so they like, like good music. Yeah, they have good taste. Yeah, yeah. Um, my, my old, my older son, he actually produced a record on the project. Oh, wow. oh wow. he did. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, he produced a record called Light Day on the project. Did you give him a hard time? Uh, nah, I mean, I couldn't. His shit was dope. Wow. <laughs> That's good. He was, I mean, like it was pretty dope. Good, like right? he has a very, very old soul, and 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 he has. Um, a high standard and very, very like extensive taste in music. They get that from you, I think. Uh, perhaps. Would you Would you let him um, ever produce you? That's what I said. He produced a song on my album. Oh, on your album. Okay. Yeah, oh right. man. That's Has Fortnite song. become an issue in the house? No. All right. Not at all, man. My all kid. Right. Bro, you beating the odds, my dude. Nah, I think that. Uh, uh, but it's big they play everywhere. It. Yeah. I'm not saying they play it, but they don't. You know, they don't fight over stuff. We got so much stuff. They don't fight over right. anything. We have so much stuff that they don't. That they don't have to fight. Nice. Isn't that great? Yeah. That's great. That's hard work, man. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I mean, it's 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 also it, it, it's easier to maintain your sanity when you have children who have their own space and and able to kind of, you know, seclude themselves yeah. in their own area you know what i'm saying like like major will take his ipad and he will go and sit down and read or he'll like all by himself mm -hmm. you dig what i'm saying mm -hmm. and king will do the same and, and <laughs> king will do the same thing uh not necessarily with an ipad but with you know with headphones sure and you know my older son he'll go and produce and make music and beats and demonia go rap and like everybody's doing their own thing 
everybody's doing their own thing, following their own path and creating that's their great. own lane. Yeah, so. That's good, man. That's good. Yeah. This way they can get out of the house when it's you time to did. get out of the house. You, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Oh get out of this house. Hey, that's the key. That's, <laughs> when, that's when I know I've done my job. My man, my you man. Know, when oh. I come to your house and fuck shit up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kicking your kids out of your house oh, with T.I. next. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yo, pre-order Dime Trap. Yeah. yeah. Dime Trap. Right pre-order. Right it, right pre-order now. it right now, man. Yeah. Because I think you're going to get, well, I believe you're going to get T.I. in his purest form. I mean, I think that you're absolutely correct in saying such. I love being right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. I love when you're right, too, especially when it benefits me. My man. <laughs> Don't forget, we're going to see you in the video real soon, too, I'm in right? the video, which is crazy, <laughs> T.I. Thank you for that experience. Yep. Honestly, it was a long day, but so it's, worth it. And T.I. Yeah. kept checking on me, Zoom making in. sure I was okay. And Zoom, Zoom in. Wow. Zoom then we in. had lunch, right? Then we went off-site. We had lunch, and we spoke about being a father and so many yeah. things. And It was uh, it was a great day, T.I. That's so right. Thank you very much. Very much. Hey man, this is the best thing I never did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for stopping uh, by, my uh, guy. Appreciate uh, it. Oh, Ti the dime trap. Yes. Let's get it, man. Crucial. Power 106, number one for hip hop. <laughs>